think the question of whether states can control their borders is a critical political one. Uh, I think, you see, the interesting thing is, populations want their states to control the borders. Elections, as, as we know, around the world, in North America, in Europe, in Australia, have been fought, won and lost on this worry about migration. And so populations say to their governments, you are our government, we elect you, control the borders. The difficulty is, it's much more, well, it's almost impossible now for states to control their borders in the way they used to. Two main reasons. One, international travel is just a lot easier. You can get in a boat, you can get on a plane, um, you can drive, you can walk. Governments can't build walls, whatever some politicians think. You can't isolate your state. So governments are finding it more difficult physically to control the borders. But the other point is, of course, large parts of the world are involved in arrangements whereby the control of the borders isn't simply a national thing anymore. The classic case is the Schengen area within the European Union, where you've got free movement. So what does it mean in Europe to control the border? Uh, and that's an issue the United Kingdom is certainly going to face um, when we see what Brexit means. But the issue is it's not easy once a, an e, someone enters the EU then to control where they end up. So governments, I think, these days are being called upon by, by their publics to control the borders. But the effect is really it's more difficult for them to do so. Globalisation has made that happen.